James, it'll been a tumultuous few days, but can you just update fans on what those few days have been like and the search for a new manager? Yeah, obviously it's never nice to see someone lose their job and I had a good relationship with, with Tommy as well, so we, we thank him for his efforts uh, and obviously then once that decision has been taken, we kind of look forward and, and we kind of start planning straight away, so I've had conversations with the board, whether that's been uh, on the telephone, email constantly, messaging as well back and forward in terms of the interest that's been shown so far uh, in the plan that we're going to have moving forward. Was it just simply the, the results in the time of season that we were in that this was the right time to make the change? Yeah, I think the board felt obviously recent results uh, hadn't been what we probably had expected uh, in moving forward with, with the transfer window coming up as well. Uh, they just felt that it was going to uh, kind of need to be done now, uh, learning from previous experiences as well, and, and that was probably the reason why it was it was so soon after Saturday's match. Now that the decision has been made, can you update us on, on preparation for the Boxing Day game and how that will be made up amongst the people who are already here? Yeah, so obviously I've, I've kind of spoke to the this current staff as well over the last couple of days and, and uh, told them probably what's expected of them as well. And, they're a good bunch, so I think they're, they're obviously still hurting a little bit, but I've had a good conversation with them this morning as well in terms of we need to now focus on the Hamilton game, it's a massive game for us, uh, they've been nice and positive this morning, so we'll make sure the players are at in training over the next few days, uh, hopefully have a nice Christmas, but their main focus uh, is obviously three points on, on Sunday. Will you be involved in the coaching set up for yeah, I think previously, obviously, when uh, Alex Dyer had left as well, the board had asked me to be involved. I've obviously managed before and uh, I'm, I'm quite happy to do that uh, as well in the short term to, to try and help the staff that are here, help the players refocus uh, as well and, and plan for, for Sunday's match. Sorry. Every managerial appointment actually is critical because it's such an important decision, but is it especially so given everything that's up for grabs in the, the second half of the season? Yeah, so we are we're at that kind of halfway stage where we think, right, we're, we're not where we would like to be, but I don't think we're a million miles away either. Uh, and it's important that we, we do have a, probably a, a kind of freshness going into that second half of the season, uh, a real kind of focus on what we're, we're here to do. Uh, we want to bounce straight back up. We don't want to be stuck in, in the championship as well, like we've seen in uh, previous seasons from, from other teams. So I think that's the main focus. And obviously we're transfer when they're coming up as well, that will allow somebody to have a look at the squad, assess it and see any tweaks that they, they feel that they need. Is there a time scale planned for an appointment or when you would like to have that sewn up? No, I, I don't think it will want to draw it out. I think it's probably one of the ones where it's a kind of week to two weeks, probably maximum. Uh, obviously, the, the time of the, the year it is, it's not ideal. Uh, but I think uh, we will focus in the coming days in terms of kind of creating a short list and then looking to try and interview or, or appoint somebody within that period of time. Is it open-minded in terms of whether it be an appointment to the end of the season or whether or just be looking for a more long-term appointment? Yeah, well, we've obviously had a, a high turnover of managers over the last couple of years as well, so I think we're trying to build something and looking longer term. Uh, so that will be taken into consideration. Uh, I think obviously first and foremost the focus is to get with this league. That is what we need, uh, but we don't want to keep chopping and changing managers, coaching staff, playing squad. So I think we are looking to try and build something for the future. And in terms of, you, you spoke earlier about what you've learned from previous experiences, how can you take that into what's happening now? Yeah, I think that's important. You're always kind of reflecting and, and learning as you as you progress, especially me in, in this role as well. So I think with a transfer window coming up, it was important that we allowed a new manager to have that opportunity to make any changes after assessing the squad. Uh, so that's an important thing uh, and also try to get that uh, togetherness again with the, with the crowd. It's obviously been a tough kind of few weeks for, for the fans uh, and that's probably showed in kind of uh, their recent reactions as well so hopefully we can kind of bring everybody together, players, staff and, uh, and the, uh, certainly the supporters as well and, and move forward and, and hopefully get some wins. And have there already been candidates who have uh, applied for the role? Yeah, I think we've had over 20 candidates uh, so far in terms of sending in their CVs or, or kind of notes of interest as well and uh, that's something that I'm collating just now uh, and also part of my role is kind of to track and, and monitor uh, either upcoming managers or managers that we can see as potential future Kamala managers. So uh, we're, we're doing that currently as well in the background and uh, hopefully we'll put all that together in the next day or two and, and we can have a board meeting and, and see where we go from there.